Welcome to the Empowered Dancers podcast. I'm your host, Bobby Miles. That's Bobby with an IE and Miles as in distance. I am from West Cork in Ireland and I found the world of dancing on a total whim. Anyway, after that first party, I was hooked like a fish and salsa and bachata became my daily soundtrack, basically. After dancing more hours than I probably spent in school growing up, I began helping out in lessons just to even out numbers, things like that. And a while later, I joined a teaching team and spent the next year as a teaching assistant. And I've now been developing my skills as a beginner's teacher of salsa and bachata as part of a team for over a year now. Just this year in 2024, I have started to dip my toes into the world of learning kizumba, and I'm really enjoying experiencing a new dance. Being part of the Latin dancing scene is both simple and complex at the same time, and this has been a big part of my experience, and my growth and my passion for the scene has taken on its newest form with the Empowered Dancers podcast. There are so many aspects of dancing that are so interesting to explore. Dance floor dynamics, um, organizing events, the social scene, teaching styles, relationships, power dynamics, just to name a few things off the top of my head. But each offers a lot to explore and think about. Take dance floor dynamics and power dynamics, for example. This is a really interesting one to me, and they do have a big overlap. It's part of our everyday life, but it's just as much a part of the Latin dance scene too. For example, do you ever feel like you are a people pleaser? Do you ever feel like telling a lead he is making you feel uncomfortable can be really challenging? I used to feel like that regularly. Now I work with women to unlearn the habits that we have been drilled with for so many years. People pleasing, no sense of power, feeling unable to speak up on the dance floor. These are all parts of the same thing. But what if I told you that you are a people pleaser the same way you are a speaker of English? Whether it was from infancy, from classroom study, or from some serious intrinsic motivation, you have learned English to a degree of fluency that is enabling you to listen to this podcast. You didn't wake up knowing it, you had to learn. And so you have learned to people please. The good part here is that you can unlearn it as well. This is one of the many things we will talk about and question on the Empowered Dancers podcast. I am a former classroom teacher and learning is a huge part of my everyday life, even after leaving the classroom and with learning comes empowerment. So I am going to use the word empowered a lot. We are the Empowered Dancers podcast here (laughs) and I want to show you that empowerment isn't just a buzzword. It's not a word that only applies to women. It's not a word that only applies to successful or well-known people in dancing. Empowerment is having the knowledge, confidence, and therefore means to do things or make decisions for yourself. So with that in mind, the Empowered Dancers podcast aims to share knowledge and inspire confidence so you can do just that. I'll be sharing my own experiences and having conversations with some incredible people from many parts of the dance scene, as many as I can hear from, to hear their views and experiences both on and off the dance floor and to bring knowledge and confidence to each and every one of you lovely dancers. There is tons to learn just by listening to Empowered Dancers, and we cover a wide range of content. But if you want to talk about a specific experience you have been through, I'm here for you. Whether we know each other or not, you are more than welcome to drop me a message or book a free call with me on calendly.com forward slash Empowered Dancers. If you are looking for advice, I will offer it if I can. But if you just want someone to talk an experience through with, I am here for you on that too. I have aimed to keep each episode generally short. Think an episode of Friends at lunchtime type length, because I want these conversations to be packed with information, to show as many sides of the dance scene as possible, and for those lovely teaching moments to be actionable where possible. This could mean something you can physically action, or it could be a challenge on your perspective of something. Empowerment is at the heart of everything we do here at Empowered Dancers. I want to see more understanding of our scene, more transparency and more accountability. And very close to my heart, I want to see women expecting to be respected on the dance floor and beyond. Finally, I love chatting, so you are always welcome to drop me a message, DM, email, any and all, to let me know what you're thinking after different episodes. Everything in my world has changed so much for the better since I started learning with empowerment as my guide, and there are so many parts and perspectives to the salsa, bachata and kizumba scenes, I want as many dancers as possible to feel that sense of empowerment wherever you are in your dancing journey. Let's do this.